Mulong Yimsin is situated on top of a ridge in the Changpitkong range. Mulong Yimsin overlooks the plains of Assam and Himalayan mountain range on one side and has a sweeping view of Tuli Valley and eastern Nagaland on the other side. Being a village steeped in history, Mulong Yimsin has multiple points of interest and walking trails that visitors will find interesting. Mulong Yimsen is called the first Christian village in Nagaland established by Dr. E. W. Clark in the year 1876. So Hornbill TV is here to revisit history, to find out the historical facts and to find out the significance of this village. So let's go and get more details from the villagers. Chungta village was the foster father of Mulong Kimong. As in the olden days, small villages sought paternal relationships with the larger villages by offering annual tributes. And in return, the small villages received protection from enemies. In 1876, to foster the same relation with Chungtia, Dr. Edward Winter Clerk gifted rupees 5 as a tribute and commemorating this friendship, the Chungtia Theological Union erected this stone on 6 February 2008. First of all, thank you for joining Hornbill TV. Uh, since you, uh, your village is going to celebrate 150 years, what is the significance and importance of this village? Please share us. Thank you for coming to Molong Imsen. And this Molong Imsen village, it is a quiet village and this is located in the northeastern state of Nagaland. And this village, Molong Imsen, was founded on 24th October 1876 by the pioneering missionary Reverend E. W. Clerk and the Naga Christians. And today, Molong Imsen is the first Christian village in Nagaland. And if you go by history, you will find that in 1913, Reverend Dr. E. W. Clark had stated, had written that in, here in all the ages was the first Naga Christian village that had uh, accepted Christ. And this distinction holds a lot of significant importance today because Nagaland today is the most predominant Christian state in India. Now, Mulong Imsen is today called the Christian Pilgrim and Naga Educational Heritage Village. As you can see, it is already inscribed in the plaque. And in 2003, the Ao Students Conference had also celebrated the Naga Educational Kwaski Centenary, honoring the late pioneers, missionaries, Reverend Dr. E. W. Clark and his wife, and in 2011, recognizing the important landmark in ushering a new dawn by civilizing the Nagas through education. The government of Nagaland declared Mulung Yimsen as a Naga Educational Heritage Village, and you can see the stone right there behind us. And in 2012, recognizing also the religious and educational heritage that we have. The government of Nagaland declared Molong Imsen as the pilgrim's uh, Christian village. So now we're here in Molong Imsen and you can also see, if you look around, you can see the plains of Assam and the Himalayan mountain range on one side and the uh, views of Tuli and the Eastern Nagaland on the other side. And so this is a mission compound where Dr. Clark had lived. He lived in Molong Imsen for 21 years and today it is his legacy that has brought us together to celebrate the advent of 150 years. And it is here that his mission work started. And if we look around this mission compound, you'll see a lot of landmark, significant landmarks that has imprints on the legacy of Dr. and Mrs. Clark. And I'd like you, Hornbill TV, to explore and tell a message to the world that this is where Dr. Clark lived and the message that it should spread beyond this village. So let us explore together. Yes. 
So in this mission compound, we will see a lot of historical landmarks. One significant majestic tree that stands out in this compound is the lychee tree. And this lychee tree is the oldest lychee tree in Nagaland, planted by Dr. E. W. Clark and his wife in the month of June in the year 1878. It is 144 years old, and yet every year we get bountiful harvests of lychee fruits. And today we are the blessed recipients of the legacy of Reverend Dr. E. W. Clark and Mrs. Mary Mead Clark. The first formal school education started in Nagaland at Mulongyamsen in 1878. In 2003, the Our Students Conference under the aegis of the Naga Students Federation declared Mulongyamsen as a cradle of education in the Naga Hills. On 18 March 2011, Sri Nipurio, Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland, declared Mulongyamsen Village as the Naga Educational Heritage Village. To mark the significance of Mulongyamsen on the influence of education and literature in Nagaland, this monolith was jointly erected by Naga Students Federation and our Kakachir Mungtang. The six steps leading up to the monument and the six pillars represents the six hour ranges. The black floor and white ceiling symbolizes the enlightenment of the Nagas because of the gospel and formal education. The fig tree is in memory of the first prayer offered on this place on the day Mulungimsen, the first Christian village on the Naga Hills, was established. When Clark and the villagers reached this place, they kneeled and prayed for God's blessings and protection upon this new village. This fig tree reminds Mulungimsen villagers and visitors of the sacrifice of our ancestors and Reverend Dr. Clark to preserve Christianity in Nagaland. Welcome to Clark Museum at Moloimsen. Here there are many interesting artifacts which was used by the missionaries and it is a legacy that we treasure. So here first of all we can see the picture of Reverend Dr. E.W. Clark when he was young. And this is the picture of Mary Mead. And here we can see the original here of Carrie Mead, the only daughter of Dr. Clark and Mrs. Clark. And it is said that during the age of four and a half years, Carrie Mead passed away. So her mother preserved her here. Down here, you can see a small book, and this is the first handbook which was used by the missionaries. And here, we can see four books here, small books. So this is, these are the books first used in the school. So it is said that um, during the year 1878, Mrs. Clark established the first school here at Molongimson. So they used these are the first textbook that they use. This is the Aonaka Dictionary, which was translated by Dr. Clark and Mary Mead. And this is the first Aon Dictionary. Some books are here, and which was translated by Dr. Clark, Aon Bible. This is this is Aon Bible. This is also Aon Bible, and these are Aonaka hymn, which was used by the missionaries. And here we can see a curtain here, and this curtain is uh, um, Mrs. Mary Mead when she visited Japan, they gave this as a souvenir to her. So this also they presented us to give in our museum here. And here we can see a cross. It signifies that when Dr. Clark and Mrs. Mary Mead they decided to come here, their relatives, they, they were refused to send them as a missionary to India. 
So the Dr. Clark and Mrs. Mary Mead replied that we are going there to erect the cross of Christ. During the year 2019, uh, their family members they sent this as a gift to give in our museum. And it is said that this, this, this was made by an oak tree which was planted by Dr. Clark in their own garden. So their grand-grandchildren, they made this cross and this saint to give in our museum. And here we can see an acknowledgement letter from New York. And this is the receipt which was sent by the Church of Jordan Memorial Church at New York City. And this is the church. When Dr. Clark and Mary met, they stay here in New York City, this church was built. So during the time of the foundation of this church, Mrs. Clark and Dr. Clark, they contributed some amount of money with our forefathers and our ancestors. So they collect some amount of money as a mission work. So they send three point here, we can see here, $3.25 for this church. So this was the first mission work done by the Aonakas. here we are in the second museum so here this is Dr. Clark and this is Mary Mead and here is the picture of Carrie Mead the only daughter of Dr. Clark and Mary Mead and here the next is we can see here some benches here which was used by the missionaries like uh, Dr. Clark and Mary Mead and as I have said the school was the first school was established here in our Molimson in the year 1878. So these are the benches that they use at the school. The students, they sit here and they learn all the lessons. And here is a picture of Reverend and Mrs. Is Nakshinagan Lamdur, the first ordained minister of Molimson village. So this is the picture. And here we can see a chair which was used by Mrs. Mary Mead. On October 28, 1868, Dr. Clark and Mrs. E.W. Clark, they sailed from Boston via Calcutta. So, during the time Mrs. Mary Mead, she used this cabin gear to sit here. So, they presented us to give in our museum, so we preserved this cabin gear. And here, we can see a beautiful bale here. And this is the first bell in Nagali. So this bell was uh, from, purchased from Chicago by only 60 rupees. And this bell was donated by Tsunguinsa Pech. And now we, can, we, say, we used to say um, Tsunguinsa Zunga. So by one Pech, they donated this church bell. The next is here, we can see a padding dub, which was used by Reverend Dr. E. W. Clark. This padding dub was used by Reverend Dr. E. W. Clark at the American Baptist Missionary Union, Bangalore Subsagra Assam, which was preserved by the Subsagra City Magistrate and later presented to Mulong Imsen. So we keep this in our museum and here, we can see the original door of Dr. Clark. Original door of the first American Baptist Friend Mission Bangalore. Here outside this Mission Bangalore was there. So this is the door of the Mission Bangla. So we can see here how they met and so we preserve this one also in our museum. These two doors. Here we can see some spear here. The First one is belongs to one life home, who was the close friend of Dr. Clark. So 
key key was to keep reserved in our museum. But and here we can see our Mulayimson woman's traditional attire here. So these are the traditional trays traced by our woman. And the next is here. This is the printing wheel which was used by Dr. Clark. The machine was the machine is not here but the wheel only. So we preserve this one and if you take this you can see everything is explained here so you can take knowledge from here. Inside this we can see the water bottle of Dr. Clark and the spoon of Dr. Clark and you can see here the specs of Mary Mead. And the next is Aunaka Dictionary, which was translated by Dr. Clark and Mary Mead. And here, the last one, we can see a trip the use here at Molo Again, here we can see a Bible, which was used by Dr. Clark. Commemorating the historic landmark of Molong Yamsin as the abode of Christianity and education that permeated throughout the Naga Hills, Sri Itachu, the then Parliamentary Secretary of Tourism, Law and Justice, Government of Nagaland, on 8 February 2012, declared Molong Yamsin as a Christian pilgrimage village and a tourist destination. In gratitude of the establishment of Molong Center by Dr. E. W. Clark as the first mission center in Nagaland under the aegis of American Baptist Foreign Mission Society and commemorating Molong Yamsen as a Christian pilgrimage and the Naga Educational Heritage Village, Rev. Dr. Zelho Keho, Executive Secretary of NBCC, dedicated this monolith on 13 November 2050. At the Hornbill TV, we have a history of historical facts. We have a history of Christianity. We have a history of Christianity. We have a history of Christianity. interesting facts. We have a history of 1876. We have a history of church. We have a church. We have a established church. We have a history of clarification. We have a history of clarification. We have a history of clarification. Busti Aro churches laga established wala to date a lot difference is to itu nimite mo yalo clarification dite ko to My name is Reverend Dajong Pastor Mulung Imsen Baptist Church Abuni tia hutra to ekdam important aro burning issue ta si Hoi amagan busti to 1876 the established kura Church to 72 the established kura itu ami Olap clarified kuri tibo. Doctor Clark pura 1872 December 22nd 15 person. Mulungi mong di Baptist kuri tiyado. Our church established kuri tin. Iniga magan apam pura ito mania si. Aro tadi amagan church established kuri bisiti. Doctor Clark. Targam start kura dem di issue do lesi. Aru itu issue do main do. Amagan tar taki buli kurbi tiane. Kurbi na buli mati bi tiane. Office mana buli mati mangis itu kan tiane. Targan suspek kura si. Itu kahliya hisi itiya mati mangia si itu British agent asih. Itu karu ni itu ki yatin naraki pokoi kena posti pura. Louisa Bully, Utter Dutish. You do Utter Tia Visiti Christian Gando Pishi Persecute Gursi. You do Doctor Clark Pura Taralaga Mission Report eighteen ninety three. A post Munadi Tia to be Christian Gando Pishi Persecute Kura Karuni. A Magan Mulungimson Nutun Posti Dupanabuli. Time pura ni di sini ka clerk pura lagi kena sih. Corner ni India mirimit pura lika tadi page number nineteen twenty tibi mirimit pura bi itu lagi kena lagi dia sih. Itu mulung emsen mano nolik kon ba mano pura lika ni. Kon pura itu posti establish kuri sih establish kuri sih dari laga record original record asih. 
Iniga Tadi Pishi persecution Wagroni Tadi established Kura Church to Yati Shif Kura Yadin Natakiri. It won Luisa Viniga Wagroni Targan Yati Church Yati Anigina Naga Church to Harabuli Takeshide Molong Imson Postido Nabanaile Itu Naga Church to Amagan itu eighteen seventy four seventy two Bura Kaun Gurgina Hatu, itu sal one fifty celebration November Moinadi four to six Tati Manipulasi. I won't even be a heavily tried Gurivi Aro Mulungimson Church Kili Church to Puila Posti Stablis Gurado PGT in the Wado Ami Pavias. Abunigan tadi terfrey begini nanti, ini kami pakai. In recognition of the establishment of the first American Baptist Foreign Mission Society's Mission Station on 24 October 1876 and the establishment of first school and formal education in 1878 at Mulung and in remembrance of the clerks and those who labored in God's vineyard, this monolith was dedicated by Rev. Dr. Reed Trulson, Executive Director, American Baptist International Ministries, on 8 October 2014. With the establishment of Molongimsen as a new village by Dr. E. W. Clark on 24 October 1876, the Ryong Sangar Putumundin Village Council, comprised of 10 members who prayfully affirmed their commitment to God by dedicating 10 commandments to help them govern the village based on God's guiding principles. This is a living testament of the pledge of our ancestors to abstain from the practice of animism and all traditional beliefs. The Mang Tir Lamang means path of the faithful. Our ancestors trudged across this path as they relocated to a new village, Mulung Yamsin from Tikahaimo. This path is a reminder of the fate and courage our ancestors reposed in God, and also a reminder of the path of freedom, liberating believers to worship God without fear and allowing the early Christians to hold on to their Christian faith till the end. This suspension bridge, it was built in 1888 by Dr. Clark, and this is perhaps the oldest suspension bridge uh, ever constructed. And if you look back to history, we will find that the materials, the iron roads that were used for the construction of this bridge was shipped from Boston, USA. And now, if you look back to history, we will find that the materials that were shipped from Boston, once it reached Subsagar, the founders, our ancestors, they carried it on their shoulders, walked on the foot, and then reached this place. And this is the connecting point that uh, connects us to Mulong Imsen. Now we have the Pilgrim's Walk. And this Pilgrim's Walk is uh, visited by many tourists. And this was the footpath that was used by our ancestors many years ago. And across this suspension bridge, we will also find that there are many other water activities like angling and uh, bamboo rafting. So this is something very fascinating and it is something that we also need to imbibe the spirit, the greed and the resilience which our forefathers had endured and imbibed. Shri Itachu, former Minister of Education, Nagaland, visited Mulungimsen and undertook the pilgrim's walk from the Clark Suspension Bridge till Mulungimsen on foot. With a heart laden with earnest prayer, God bless him and his wife, a son. Testifying God's faithfulness, Mr. Itachu requested the Mupung Sangar Putumundin, Mulungimsen Village Council, to bless his son with a name, cherishing the legacy of Dr. Clark. The village council named the son Mulung Nangshi. 
Sri Itachi, as a token of thanksgiving and gratitude to God, constructed this monument, which was christened as the Itachi Viewpoint, on April 4, 2013. Dr. E. W. Clark Pra, Tailaga Ligesi, Kiki Bonai Digna, Christianity Anigna, Yate Rakidi, Itula Oporti, Mugan Jani Paisi, to Itia Yate. Village elders can be at the Aigana Mohan Hornbill TV, it will look by say to it to a portable Mohan or it to boosty TV, yet a boosty de it to boosty to Kinega Bonasi, it to be a Mohan Janibuli Munaseto, yet a elders can village elders can Takanisna, Mue Baba Kibi, Mue Janibuli Mundo to boosty to Kinega Bonasi, it to a Mohan Gallop details property. Mulong himson, himson Ambaji, Lahab, Mishina. Oh, Tamangba Yims Buna Rogi, Wula Nord me, Iba Yims Yamaha, Hatam Hazama, Lidit Mizino, Iba Mulung Yamsia, Dagia Dede, Iba Lungi, Bela Harvey, Sam Danha Hadame, Mulum Sinni Kame, Iba Yim Gong Nagi, Wula Nord me, Alima Yamsa, Sam Yims Sun, Wurk Yung Wachim Biaruwa. Iba Usuji Tandadashi Mulu Himson Kalahab Yim Gum Summer Mim Gum Iba Hamangji Tandu Mulu Himhendor Madak Summer Mi Wun of Mazuba Mulu Himhun Yagumi Mission Sindra Itagi Labo His School Isuushina Itagi Tilo Achi Hang Idai Kamutsu, Taliang, Yimbur, E. Mulu and Mandungi, Mission Center, Yipendi Doggy, Amanoka, Inyakatanoka, Tanu, Yimbur, Abam Abam Dajimi Baruji, Ula Nurto in Mimunga Buddha, Iba, Yimbur, Ruja, Iba Mulu and Mandiam and the Teruba, Yimbur Lino, J. Tanu, Yimbur Lino Dajim Berge, Mulu and Mano, Ula Nurd me doggy. Mumongjukyo, Samazana Dun, Nobujin Din Dua, Jimbir, Tamahabu Banduga Mumulungaba, Jimbia Jimbia, Samar Mimsa, Mamunok Mijino, Bandu Iba Yangatita, Tanda, Iba Hamongi, Aur Rangban, Ibaji, Iba Mulu in Hanaliba, Ulana, the Melang of the Yusuba, Yimbulin, Iba Mulu in Hanor. I heard the num, so we live on the Uno. Blue men come here, his son is a winner, okay. Come here, Leon Aruba. Tagum, okay. No longer heard the num, so we live on the Uno comes of the Aji Tatum. If I should be living on the Uno, Kaji Sarah, Ibaji, Arogo, Yemden, Sunsuaja, Tanga de Tamna. If I should be living on the Uno. Tagum, November, Palunangi, Turk Tashi, Iba Sibuli Mung Yamung, Unua, Mulu Imsen, Aro Imsen, Susu Hunger, Tom Danga Hadamba, Mabanga Nogo Tajung Mishia Tanida, Tanan Nogi, Mulu Imsen Yamumba, Utsu, U the Hassan Dangji, Tatsaki, Tan Ivan Nongji, Mulu Imsen Yamumba, Yamja Mumba Utsu, Yaksi Tamja. To itia mugan village elders kan logo tibi kota kuri kina itu mulung yimsen busti tu kini ka bonai si itu laga details bi koi disi aro mugan jana nisna itia moi kara kuri atu doctor clerk laga mati te kara kuri kina se aro itu opore itu mulung yimsen laga busti ru 1876 te doctor clerk bra establish kuri kina first Christianity yade naga laga mati te ani dia opore ani dia ni mite itia naglen tu. Christian state within us. So it was a first Nagaland, uh, first Christian village Nagaland they established within us. It was Mogan to Dr. Clark, Dr. Clark, the legacy to like it. Christian it was a or it was a border it was a November day. Molung Yimsen Laga Bustigan do one fifty years of Christianity celebrate Kurule. I say our soap manubi it was it was Laga Din Rukigana. So, Manubi Tire Krigana, it will have a blessing. Dr. Clark, it will have a blessing upon 150 years of Christianity celebrate Guru Gulase. Moya Donari, with camera person Johnson for Hornbill TV. <laughs>